Hello and welcome to the Distinguished Highlander Hall of Fame ceremony, part of the 80th anniversary celebration of the Baldwin Whitehall School District. This is a slightly different format than the way we drew it up a year ago, but in staying with the school district's motto of daring greatly, the Baldwin Whitehall Educational Foundation has dared to be innovative, and so we are bringing this Hall of Fame event to you. This ceremony celebrates three groups of distinguished Highlanders, our Alumni Hall of Fame Class of 2020, our Champions of Character, and our Above and Beyond honorees, and we'll hear more about each of these groups in just a minute. Before we go any further, I'd like to take a moment to sincerely thank our Distinguished Highlander Dais, our gala attendees, sponsors, and donors, our special guests, and our families and friends in the school district, the city of Pittsburgh, and beyond, first for supporting the gala, and now for supporting this virtual ceremony. On behalf of BWEF, we sincerely appreciate your support. Thank you. Now at this time, I'd like to turn the ceremony over to Dr. Randall Lutz, Superintendent of the Baldwin Whitehall School District to begin our award ceremony. Thank you, Eric. The 80th year of the Baldwin Whitehall School District we want to remember forever. While we knew going into this year, it would be one of celebration and remembrance. No one could have imagined it would have turned out quite like this. We began the planning for this school year, talking and working on a theme. Risk-taking, failing forward, safe enough to try, modern learning, rigor, and standards. All of those themes began the compass pointing to our true north. Our real focus became clear. Daring greatly became our rallying cry. What is it that we believed in to such a high level that we were willing to dare to do? Our work is rooted in the words of a pretty wonderful leader of our past, Mr. Theodore Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who was actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood who strives valiantly, who errs. At worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. By daring greatly, building an environment in which it's safe enough to try new things and allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, the faculty, staff, and the board of school directors have met the challenges of 2020 with purpose and with vigor, knowing that we can be successful, knowing that we are meeting the needs of children in our care every single day. Through this event, we celebrate many individuals for their work. The distinguished alumni that have inhabited our hallways and classrooms during their formative years and have now taken their skills and talents on to enrich the lives of others. The champions of character who through their work in the schools and community today provide the light and the challenge to the present day student to meet their goals and their potential. And the above and beyond recipients who through their incredible volunteerism put the mission of the Baldwin Whitehall School District first and foremost in their lives. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to recognize our distinguished Highlander Award recipients. Please join me in congratulating our 2020 Champions of Character. Keith Harrison, presented by Baldwin High School. Elizabeth Crittenden, presented by Harrison Middle School. Henrietta Curley, presented by McAnaldi Elementary School. Susan Kaczynski, presented by Painter Elementary School. Lastly, Representatives Harry Reedshaw and Representative William Quartz, presented by the Baldwin Whitehall School District. Congratulations to each of you and thank you for all that you do, have done and will do to make the Baldwin Whitehall School District an exceptional place to live and to learn. Our 2020 Above and Beyond honorees are Rich Wright, presented by Baldwin High School, Tammy Turner Losey, presented by Harrison Middle School, Sherry Densmore, Chris Goronsky, and Nancy Geltzazer, presented by McAnaldi Elementary School, Jamie Minson, presented by Painter Elementary School, and Laura Benestelli, presented by Whitehall Elementary School. Congratulations and thank you for your support and dedication to the Baldwin Whitehall School community. Thanks to people like our champions of character and our above and beyond award winners, the Baldwin Whitehall School District is a leader in education at the local, regional, and national levels. Our efforts help to shape policy and to shape lives. Every single day, it is through the work of our incredible people like you that we honor today 
that our mission and purpose can be realized. I've been part of this district for over half of its 80 years as a student, as an administrator, and as a superintendent. And I have never been prouder of the work that we are doing. Thank you for being willing to dare. Thank you for being willing to be vulnerable and to get a little bit dirty. Our children and our future deserve it. And thank you for the Baldwin Whitehall Educational Foundation for celebrating our work, our people, and our community. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lutz, and congratulations to our champions of character and above and beyond honorees. We have exciting news that we've been waiting to share. Thanks to the generosity of distinguished Highlander Edward Lutz, BWEF was able to dedicate plaques to our champions of character and above and beyond honorees from 2015 through 2020 and beyond. The plaques were created by the district's technology services team and will become a permanent addition to the Hall of Fame exhibit at Baldwin High School later this year. Congratulations to all awardees and thank you, Mr. Lutz, for your kindness. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to begin our Hall of Fame induction. This year's class brings together accomplishments in community service and activism, diversity and inclusion, medical health and wellness, and their triumphs stretch across the globe. We thought it would be very symbolic if current Distinguished Highlanders introduced our newest class of inductees. So without any further ado, let's meet the Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame Class of 2020. Please join me in welcoming Pennsylvania State Senator Pam Iovino to the Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame. Shortly after graduating Baldwin High School in 1974, Senator Iovino began a career in public service that has spanned 40 years. Her service in the United States Navy began in 1980, where she completed tours as a missile maintenance officer, anti-terrorism intelligence watch officer, network warfare program manager, and congressional liaison, among other duties. She received a commission from the Officer Candidate School and graduated with distinction before retiring with a rank of captain in 2003. Following the Navy, she was nominated by President George W. Bush as the Assistant Secretary for Congressional Affairs and was unanimously confirmed by the United States Senate. In that role, she served as the Chief Advocate for all legislative matters on Capitol Hill for our nation's 25 million veterans before returning to Pennsylvania in 2009. Now a Pennsylvania State Senator, she represents the 260,000 constituents of the 37th Senatorial District, which includes Whitehall, the community where she was born and raised. With special focus on education, healthcare, seniors, veterans, and public safety, Senator Iovino advocates for policies and legislation that benefit the residents of our communities. Congratulations, Senator Iovino, and welcome to the Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame. This is such an honor to be inducted into the Distinguished Highlander Hall of Fame, along with an extremely impressive group of honorees. This is not how we expected to be marking the occasion. However, I do appreciate the Baldwin Whitehall Educational Foundation's creative decision to virtually celebrate while putting health and safety first as we navigate this novel coronavirus. Growing up, my parents instilled in me the critical importance of education, that it was foundational to one reaching their potential. And I was fortunate to be provided the truly superior education of the Baldwin Whitehall School District and to graduate from Baldwin High School. That superior education included faculty, staff, administration, extracurricular resources that helped guide me in figuring out what I loved, what I was good at, what I could do with it, how I could reach my potential. As a former Navy captain with 23 years in the Navy to serving as U.S. Assistant Secretary at the Department of Veterans Affairs, teaching at Robert Morris University, and now serving as a Pennsylvania State Senator, we can safely say that it exceeded what I imagined for myself on graduation day in 1974 but it was exactly what quality, well-supported public education is committed to each and every day, the success and well-being of their students. And I know firsthand that Baldwin High School has only grown more impressive since I walked those halls. I will conclude by thanking the individuals that nominated me for this honor, as it makes it all the more meaningful for me. Two institutions, two treasures of the school district, Ms. Pam Livingston and Ms. Noretta Willick former teachers at Baldwin High School. 
Since I was a student in their classrooms, they have been following and grading my performance. I'm grateful for that. I'm a better person because of that. I reached my potential because of the interest they took in this student. Thank you all for this honor and go Highlanders. I'm pleased to be able to introduce Dr. Regis O'Keefe, Chair of the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at Washington University School of Medicine as our new Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame member. Dr. O'Keefe graduated from Baldwin High School in 1977. After completing undergraduate studies at Yale University, he earned a medical degree from Harvard Medical School in 1985, completed a surgical internship through Harvard Medical School at New England Deaconess Hospital in 1986, earned doctoral degrees from the University of Rochester School of Medicine and Dentistry in 2000. He then served as the chair of the Department of Orthopedics at the University of Rochester for 12 years. He has served in leadership positions on several major national orthopedic organizations, including president of the Orthopedic Research Society and president of the American Orthopedic Association. In his current role as chair of the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at the Washington University School of Medicine, his unit provides more than 190,000 patient visits and 17,000 surgical procedures per year. With over 280 publications, his laboratory is currently defining the role of stem cells in fracture healing and determining how epigenetic changes in the structure of DNA lead to the development of osteoarthritis. And by all accounts, Regis was an exceptional basketball player. This marks the second major Baldwin Whitehall accolade for him as he was inducted into Baldwin Sports Hall of Fame in 1977. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Regis O'Keefe to the Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame. Well, I want to first of all thank the Baldwin Whitehall Education Foundation Hall of Fame for um, accepting me into such a prestigious uh, group. It's a tremendous honor for me to be part of such an organization. I'd like to thank my friend Scott Chapman, uh, who I met um, in um, junior high school. And Scott's been a lifelong uh, friend uh, for his nomination of me. Scott, his father, and his family were just a wonderful part of my life uh, growing up. I grew up in South Baldwin and under somewhat difficult circumstances. My father died when he was five. And, my mother started working at that time in Kaufman's department store in Pittsburgh. And uh, an amazingly resilient uh, person to face the challenges that she had with three young boys and to raise them alone um, uh, was just uh, incredible. Um, our two brothers, Bernie and Kenny, both six and ten years older than me, um, took me everywhere they went. Um, they both played basketball. My brother Bernie played at uh, Duquesne University. So uh, from an early age, I was uh, on the sidelines and uh, dribbling a basketball while they were playing. And then uh, also most importantly is a community, a community where you could grow up in a place that had strong values and really hard work and effort, where in school you had amazing uh, teachers and the world was opened up to you. Um, I wasn't always the best student, um, but um, school never gave up on me. So that sense of community and the values, uh, the hard work, the effort that I played into it was so important. I've had amazing uh, opportunities. My wife, uh, Carol, at Yale, and we have uh, four wonderful children. Uh, so we've had our own journey, but again, the principles, values, and sense of community that I learned have been a part of my life. Uh, ever since. So, I well, thank the foundation for the wonderful work they do and um, for the um, honor, again, of being a part of this uh, amazing group. Um, thank you so much. Please join me in welcoming Doug Strott, founder of the Sherman's Disease Fund, to the Distinguished Highlander Hall of Fame. Doug graduated from Baldwin High School in 1983, where he was a model student, a track and basketball star, a member of student council, and senior class treasurer. As a teenager, Doug was told that he had a rare spinal disease known as Sherman's disease, an affliction attributed to uneven growth in one's spinal vertebrae. Doug's challenges with the disease fueled a passion to help others with the same diagnosis, so he created a website to offer support to others with the disease. The website was the first of its kind dedicated to Sherman's disease and would quickly connect Doug to an international audience. The inspiration he drew from this global network 
resulted in the funding of Sherman's Disease Fund in 2012, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping those diagnosed with the spinal deformity. Since its founding, the Sherman's Disease Fund was, has supported individuals living with Sherman's disease on six of the world's seven continents. The fund's impact continues to grow. One of its most notable accomplishments is the development of an international doctor database of practices that specializes in treatment of Sherman's disease. Never having forgotten his roots, Doug chose purple as the official color of the Sherman's Disease Fund, a reminder of Doug's connection to the Baldwin Whitehall Fighting Highlander. Congratulations, Mrs. Trott, and welcome to the Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame. What a genuine honor being elected together in the Distinguished Highlander Hall of Fame with three highly successful and deserving Baldwin High School graduates. First, I would like to thank the members of the Baldwin Whitehall Educational Foundation for electing me to the 2020 class. I cannot tell you what it means to me to be a part of Baldwin's history forever. But please, if you take one thing from this, remember the disease and that it affects 2% of the population that so many people are unfamiliar with, and that's Sherman's disease. I was diagnosed with Sherman's at 17 when my track coach at Baldwin noticed some issues with my back and sent me to see a doctor. Sherman's is a spinal deformity that forms in adolescence and can cause severe chronic pain and a number of secondary problems throughout life. If Sherman's is not caught early in life, then no treatment other than serious spinal surgery will help. That is why early detection is the major cause for the Sherman's disease fund. At the charity, we have helped people in 40 different countries, and it's the largest charity in the world solely dedicated to help those affected by this terrible spinal deformity. Please consider viewing the explanatory video, Living with Sherman's Disease, on our website at sdfund.org. Again, a heartfelt thank you to the Baldwin Whitehall Educational Foundation, Superintendent Randy Lutz, Chrissy Simcoe Jacobs, Kevin Baverso, Sharon Childhood Skittle, the whole Baldwin class of 83, and congratulations to all the other inductees. Thank you so much. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Heather Tonko to the Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame. Heather is the Outreach Coordinator in the National Research and Training Center on Family Support at the University of Pittsburgh. As a graduate of Baldwin High School in 2006, Heather double majored in Mechanical and Biomedical Engineering at Carnegie Mellon University before enrolling and working at the University of Pittsburgh's Graduate School of Public Health. But academic achievements are only a small part of Heather's story. Heather was born with spinal muscular atrophy, a disease that weakens muscles throughout the body and caused Heather to start using a wheelchair at a very young age. Today, nearly 30 years later, she has become one of the most notable advocates for people with disabilities in the city of Pittsburgh. In the past few years, Heather has presented to Pittsburgh's Architectural Zoning and Planning Administrations about the needs of people with disabilities, coordinated a summit that brought together disability experts with city officials to discuss options and access, and received the University of Pittsburgh Dick Thornburg Disability Service Award given to a student whose service has had a significant impact on the lives of children and adults with disabilities and founded Accessible Universe, an organization that gives voice, inclusion, and representation to Pittsburgh residents with disabilities. Described as unstoppable, Heather's success goes well beyond Pittsburgh as she was named Miss Wheelchair Pennsylvania and Miss Wheelchair USA in 2018. Congratulations, Heather, and welcome to the Distinguished Islander Alumni Hall of Fame. I am so incredibly honored to, to be named to the Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame. I can honestly say that it is not something that I ever expected, but I do think that it's in a way fitting because of how much of my life has been shaped by my time in Baldwin White Hall. From a very young age, my parents always advocated to be sure that I was treated just like everyone else in school, that I went to classes with my friends and on all the field trips and had every opportunity that everyone else did. Because of this, I didn't feel different even in my wheelchair. Many of my good friends today are still my friends from my time in Baldwin White Hall. And it is this sense of belonging and acceptance that I found that has been part of what has pushed me to advocate that for others with disabilities as well. 
Since my time at Baldwin, I have gone to college and gotten a graduate degree as well. And I've been working in research at the University of Pittsburgh. But it's always been that time in Baldwin White Hall at the back of my mind that has helped me to continue working throughout all of this to increase inclusion for people with disabilities. And I hope that my work in some way can help other people with disabilities feel that same sense of acceptance and belonging that I have always felt. So it really does feel kind of like a full circle moment and it's an incredible honor and I want to thank you all so very much for this recognition. Hi, I'm Governor Tom Wolf. Congratulations to the Baldwin Whitehall School District on celebrating 80 years of education. Since 1939, you have made a tremendous impact on your community and on the lives of your students, faculty, and staff. And I'm honored to acknowledge those achievements with you today. Congratulations to the four brand new inductees to the Distinguished Highlander Alumni Hall of Fame, Senator Pam Iovino, Dr. Regis O'Keefe, Mr. Doug Strott, and Ms. Heather Tomko. I also like to commend Harry Reedshaw and Bill Quartz for their significant contributions to education in Pennsylvania during their careers in public service. From teaching an annual honorary civics class at BHS to being ever present with their support in the stands, they have shown unparalleled commitment to public education. Congratulations to this year's Champions of Character and to the 2020 Above and Beyond Award winners whose many years of service and leadership provide such a positive example of the truly life-changing power of education. Finally, thank you to Superintendent Dr. Randall Lutz and to all the administrators, faculty, and staff who helped Baldwin Whitehall students grow up to become such inspiring contributors here in our Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and those who represent us well on a national and a global level. Cheers to each of you on this most memorable milestone and for bringing the fighting Highlander spirit to all that you do. I want to give a congratulations to the Baldwin Whitehall Hall of Fame honorees, the class of 2020, uh, and the great work that they have done. Certainly my, my good friend, uh, Senator Iovino is part of it. Uh, Senator Pam Iovino, Dr. Regis O'Keefe, Doug Strott, and Heather Tomko. Thank you for the work that you've done. Congratulations for the great work you've done for Baldwin Whitehall. Also want to congratulate the champion of character honorees that are being honored tonight, including two uh, individuals who will be retiring this year, have served this community very well, F good friends of mine, Representative Harry Reedshaw and Representative Bill Quartz. Want to congratulate them, along with other honorees, Keith Harrison, Elizabeth Crittenden, Henrietta Curley, and Susan Kosinski. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, for your work and, and thank you for the work you continue to do. Also want to thank the Baldwin Whitehall organization uh, for donating and providing services and, and materials for to, to battle with COVID. Uh, it's such an important thing to be done, certainly at this time. And the work that you're doing is so important for this community. Please continue the, the great work. I know uh, we're doing these things differently these days, but we still want to thank and honor and recognize the great work of people in the community and the great work that they're doing. And we also, of course, want to congratulate you on 80 years, the 80th anniversary. That is quite a milestone. Congratulations. I am Valerie Kenlock, the Renee and Richard Goldman Dean of the School of Education at the University of Pittsburgh. During these uncertain, difficult, and traumatic times, it is my sincere hope that your family, your friends, and you are all staying safe, well, and healthy. Because of the global pandemic, I am aware that the Baldwin Whitehall Education Foundation and the Baldwin Whitehall School District needed to cancel the 2020 Hall of Fame Gala that was scheduled for earlier this year. The celebration is part of the 80th anniversary of the Baldwin Whitehall School District. I have worked with various members of the school district since my arrival here as Dean of the School of Education at Pitt. And I can tell you that I'm looking forward to additional collaborations and partnerships. It is an honor to bring congratulations to the distinguished Highlanders and honorees of the awards. Thank you and congratulations. 
Hello, everyone. On behalf of the Baldwin Whitehall Board of School Directors, I want to send my sincere congratulations to the 2020 Distinguished Highlanders. Our Alumni Hall of Fame inductees, champions of character, and above and beyond honorees reflect everything positive about our Baldwin Whitehall communities. And I want to thank you for representing our school district so well. It's because of people like you, that the Baldwin Whitehall School District is such a fantastic place to live and to learn. So congratulations once again, and thank you for everything that you do. Senator, Dr. Doug, Heather, as well as all of you who are there for the Champions of Character, as well as Above and Beyond Awards, I would like to issue my heartfelt congratulations. Rick Dayton from KDKA TV. I've had an awful lot of dealings with people from Baldwin over the years in my time covering the news in Pittsburgh, and each and every time I have been touched by how many people are so selfless thinking of others long before they think of themselves. And that is a good part of the reason why you are being honored this evening. We are certainly much better off having you in our midst. Baldwin has done a great job of sharing you and your talents with the rest of the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and United States. And we certainly are far better off for that. Again, congratulations. Thank you for what you do. And best of luck as we move forward. Hi there, I'm Andrew Stocky from Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Today's celebration may be virtual, but your accomplishments are tangible and you'll take them with you the rest of your life. And hey, how about the school district? This is the 80th class you graduated. 80 years of success, 80 years of sending young people out of the world ready and prepared. It really does take a team effort to make anyone successful. So congratulations all the way around and enjoy this special day. Hi, this is Dennis Gilfo from Junior Achievement. I was fortunate to receive the Champions of Character Award from Baldwin Whitehall School District back in 2015 for the work that I and my organization at Junior Achievement had done for nearly 50 years. And it's still important work today. So I wanted to first of all thank the Baldwin Whitehall School District for their support of Junior Achievement. And then to congratulate this year's class of winners of the Champions of Character Award. It's something that you'll carry with you throughout your life. I'm truly honored to be one of the people who gets to say great job and wonderful to the four former students who are being inducted into the Distinguished Highlanders Alumni Hall of Fame for lots of different reasons. I also say brilliant to the six new champions of character who work every day to make life inside the schools here even better and a heartfelt appreciation to the seven people tonight who receive the Above and Beyond Award for their volunteer efforts to keep life in our schools really productive. So I think we'll remember this spring of 2020 as a truly unusual time, but a time when we learn to appreciate the efforts of all kinds of people who help, who are kind and mindful in unexpected ways. So I say, amazing to all the people who are honored tonight and to all the people who helped the Baldwin Whitehall Educational Foundation put this ceremony together. You guys are terrific. Congratulations once again to all of our distinguished Highlanders. You will become a part of the permanent exhibit at Baldwin High School, where your accomplishments will be on display to inspire future generations of Highlanders. This concludes our Hall of Fame ceremony. Please visit our website to find additional photos and information about our distinguished Highlanders and the Baldwin Whitehall Educational Foundation. On behalf of BWEF, thank you for your support and thank you for watching our Distinguished Highlander Hall of Fame ceremony.